Yeehaw! Welcome back to the Southern Snack, where life is too short to be serious. All right, we're going to do a real quick bluebell review. Love to do long form videos for bluebell. Don't do it for everybody uh, in the snack community. I do all my uh, big food reviews, fast food reviews, and long form. But uh, Blue Bear, I like to do shorts and long form videos. So yeah, they have a new ice cream A&W root beer float. And they were gracious enough to send me over four pints of this awesome stuff. It's a swirl of root beer sherbet with vanilla flavored ice cream. And they sent me two of these koozies. So we're going to pose for the thumbnail. I'm excited! Yeah, I mean, it's a pretty cool swirl right there this follows up last year's uh dr pepper float ice cream so very intriguing but uh speaking of a and w i love the fast food joint that they've got going but it's just dying off and it makes me sad to see less and less locations uh so if you if you have an a and w go check it out give them some support keep that uh part a and w live Otherwise, A&W root beer will probably never go away. It'll probably always be here. What's your favorite root beer? Do you like a root beer float? Tell me in the comments. Let's try this out. Ooh, yes. It's creamy. It's definitely got that distinct root beer flavor. I think the one thing it's definitely missing is some carbonation. Which isn't a bad thing. I'm not the biggest root beer person. I'm not a big root beer float person. But they really did a good job on this, right? It's crisp. Definitely got that root beer esque flavor. Creamy. Hits the spot just right. Maybe not like super amazing. But I would say worthy of an eight, right? It hits the flavors just good enough. It's easy, easily going to go down. It's definitely really good for a day like this. It's a hot day here. Um, so what can I say? What can I say? Then go try out Blue Bell's new A&W root beer float ice cream. And other than that, y'all have a good day.